Sometimes it's it's not easy. I want to leave this world behind. Sometimes I I felt crazy, but yet I never lost my mind. And though I'm far from you. Like an eagle, you will soar above the magnetic pull of your own desires and of this food that calls your name. The whole concept behind this class, in a nutshell, is to let go of control and let God lead us, allow God to be God and for you to be who you are, his child, his product, his creation, and his, his baby, his love, but not one that is there to rule him. Letting go of control is mere Christianity. It is the basis and the beginning of an unbelievable relationship. Don't miss it. The eating wears you out. The eating robs you of your time. It robs you of your finances. It robs you of your relationships. It robs you of your self-esteem. Your whole concept is that you're changing your lifestyle. And this dieting allows you to stay in love with the food and therefore you go nowhere and it has no value in restraining your sensual indulgence. And so in a diet, you always, if you lose some weight, if you do anymore, then you gain it back and then some because you restrained nothing. And eventually then you're given over to your own desires. If you keep saying to God, I want the food over you, I want the food over you, I want the food over you, he eventually allows you to have the food over him. Self-controlled lives don't sneak down the back stairs and go binge eat at night. They don't do it. While we're waiting on the second coming, we're anticipating Christ coming back today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Someone else is anticipating the binge. You've been born again. You can no longer anticipate a binge. You are responsible for what you think about. Everything that goes through your mind. You are responsible for your actions. Every move your muscle makes. You are responsible for what your heart adores your heart's passion. You are ultimately responsible for the final destination of your soul. You. I have been one that has taken so long in grasping um, what it is to be wholehearted and um, I am I'm grateful for lesson after lesson of how simple it is just to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. And the joy that comes from that is um, just amazing. It has uh, not only helped me lose um, anywhere between 16 to 20 pounds since this class has started, um, which I have never done in a class before, um, but it has helped me uh, just be able to wake up with energy and with joy. Total peace, total joy, no guilt. This is life. That and I is just it. Oh. Life is simpler because I have one simple focus. That's it. And then when I lay down at night, I just have peace. Just peace. In this breakthrough class, Gwen's taught us that we had to be committed and we had to make a decision. And just by doing that and starting to nail it and lose weight, 
I've dropped about 17 pounds so far, and my joy is coming back, and my wisdom is coming back, and I can feel my purpose coming back. And it's been beautiful, you know, and I've lost another four pounds this week, and so it's just been so fun and so great, so. I'm in a victorious week, and I just want to have the same week over and over. The commitment. I was stuck for a couple years. My weight, I would lose a little bit of weight and then put it back on and lose a little bit and put it back on. Going back into dieting, going into the fear that I never would get the weight off. And through this class, that, that is, it is different. My relationship with God is just growing and my heart for Him is, is growing and I just, I want to seek Him more all day and not just about that number on the scale but about everything and it is beautiful i just thank god for this class this is it you left behind man-made rules and you said yes to god's rules you've given up on yourself and you've given up on man and your own efforts you are now going back to obedience we are not going back how many in here want to go back to obesity anybody Okay, how many people in here want to go forward and be committed to God? Raise your hand. Praise you, God.